up YouTube? My name is Lazy Tryhard and today we are going to be going over text input listeners in our tutorial series LibGDX Android Game Development. So if you don't know what a dialog box is, it's basically when I open like when I hit open file I get this box and it's called a dialog box and what I'm going to teach you today is how to get input from the user and to do that we're going to use um, a name. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the player start up and when we hit play we're going to ask the user for a name for our player so it can distinguish it from someone else so that like once you know this gets to like tutorial 200 and we're like at MMORPG level or something uh, we'll have a name for our player that designates it from everything else okay so what we're going to do is you're going to go to player and you're going to initialize a string and you're going to call it name and name's going to be down here and it's going to equal da -da 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 and you're going to do a getter and setter here and you're going to put that getter and setter bada bing bada boom so now our player has a name so how do we set this name you ask how do we get this dialog box open well you go to the main menu where the button dot add listener because that's where the button listens for the touchdown because the touchdown this code is executed when we click the button so when we click the button what we're going to want to do is ask the user what's your what's your name dog so this is what you're going to do you're going to do the following gdx dot input dot get text input now libgdx does a fantastic job of integrating computer, Android, whatever platform you're running this on because it works kind of differently for each one but it's so simple uh, and it's so easy to explain and stuff like that. It'll work both on, on any, it's cross platform and I love it. So you're going to want to see this thing called a text input listener. Well we don't have one of those so we're going to make a new one, a new text input listener and you, if you hit control space you're gonna get this uh, circle with an eye around it that basically means we're gonna make a whole new class in this function and you're gonna hit enter and don't be too freaked out um, but it, two new functions come out and just walk right past it for right now because right now uh, we gotta finish this out so the title is what the title of the the question or like the question we're gonna ask and is that's gonna be what is your name dog and we're not gonna have any text because that basically is actually we'll put some text uh, insert name here it's, e it's a lot easier to visualize and to explain to you guys so you're still gonna have some red error uh, lines so you're gonna import that and all of them should go away so if we run that right now hit play and you get this and the screen still runs don't worry about that but what is your name corresponds with uh, the title the crap we lost it oh, frick. Um, we're just gonna <laughs> destroy that and run it again and let's see okay so this stays here you stay there okay so insert name corresponds with that and the okay so input is like the uh, OK button listener and canceled is like the cancel listener. When you hit OK, this code will run. When you hit cancel, this code will run. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the following. You're gonna die. Okay. Sorry, I took out all my anger on that program. It had nothing. It had such a short life. Uh, anyway, so when we hit OK, we're gonna want to do the following. We're gonna want to set the player dot set name to text because the text is uh, the text that we type in to the input but crap we get the squiggly line because we don't have a player well we're gonna have to initialize the player here because we have it initialized in play screen uh, but we're gonna want to move this up to the main menu because we're modifying it in uh, the main menu so you're gonna want to put a player here and I know we have like this whole oh if blah 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 we dealt with file IO and stuff that's cool and all but for right now uh, we're gonna move this into our um, main menu class and we're gonna put this in a function because everything looks better in a function that's gonna return a player and we're just gonna call it load player uh, and it's gonna do the following it's gonna load the player for us and 
we're actually going to have to make a new player. Uh, player, player equals null. And um, pl uh, return. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was the most aggressive backspacing I've ever done. And then you're going to want to return player. So, uh, this function kind of... I did return a player, you silly. Oh, it had to be outside the brackets. Duh, duh, duh. Um, but, so we, get a pl we have a null player, uh, and then we've kind of gone over this, but it creates a player. If we have the file, it uh, gets a player from that file. Uh, and if we don't have the player, uh, then we create a new one at these vectors. Well, we're actually going to change this vector to zero. Actually, no, let's keep it right there. Never mind. Um, and then if we don't have it, it'll make a new one. And then we return that player. So if we put that in here, uh, we're going to do player equals a load player. So uh, we're going to have that player and we're going to do move this in here we're going to set the screen to um, the next game and then we're going to be good because we're going to have the player's name the player's name is going to be assigned to the player and it's going to be awesome but we're going to change this play screen constructor and um, we're going to change it because we have to push the player into the, uh, the function now so into the play screen function because that's what we're going to use. So we're going to have to change this constructor and since we only call it once, that's not a big deal. Um, on a grand scale, you want to get those functions pretty well defined beforehand uh, because if you like change the constructors on like a enemy class and you have a bunch of enemies, that's going to be a problem. But that's not us because we only have one menu. Um, so this dot player equals player and wherever we initialize player in the show class we can now get rid of, and I don't think we ever did. So awesome. Um, so we run this. We, yeah, they ask for our name. We say lazy, and no, no pointers. Nothing has happened, but our player has a name. And to prove that, I'm going to um, draw it. I'm going to draw it onto the screen. Now, normally, like I said, you can make a cool UI out of it and like add buttons and stuff. Um, but for right now, for our purposes, I'm just going to draw that player's name um, in, I guess, like, somewhere. I mean, again, this isn't like a huge ordeal, um, but we're going to do the following. Actually, I'm just going to make it pretty easy. We're just going to do a system.out statement. We can make this all cool um, in another... Uh, another <laughs> program or whatever, but system.out.println uh, player.getName. Just to prove that we did indeed uh, pass it into the play screen and we got it from the text. So if we type in, what is your name, dog? And we type in the lazy tryhard. That's my name. We hit play. We get the system.out. Our name is the lazy tryhard. Awesome. So Again, this would kind of like transfer over if you're asking for like a high score. What is the name of the high score? Actually, can I show that? Yeah, I'm going to show that. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you guys um, how to kind of um, how, I've in, or how I've used it. Um, I don't have the project up right now. Actually, let's see if I can get this project up. So, a lot of you guys asked for the uh, source code for my... Um, my the app that I put on the Android market, which um, no, you can't have. But um, I, I am going to show you this. So again, don't get your print screens out or whatever. Um, but I have uh, I created a new, I created a project of the. All right, I don't worry about it. This is like all really gunky code. Um, but I made the class instead of instantiating it. Um, in the thing so don't worry about that I just when you see I just wanted to show you guys that I made it and how super cool your uh, teacher is but so we run this oh, frick okay so we're gonna have to go into here and run it so I have asteroid runner and it's released and it's 1.1.0 um, so if you haven't played the game I'm not trying to sell it or anything right now and I'm sure you guys have so much time on your hands um, but like, boom, 
you go through some asteroids, shoot them, eventually you die. Well, now you have a submit or you go back. These are two buttons that I made in that cute little animation that I feel so proud of. Um, but let's say you want to submit. Well, that's when you get the text input. So I added this in myself, and I was so proud. Um, so I let's say let's do the lazy try hard because I got such a high score. Um, so if I go to scores, the lazy try hard got two whopping points, and that's awesome. That's that's freaking awesome. Even though it's not Brandon because he got 905, two points is awesome too. So. Uh, this kind of just shows that I've used this in my app, I've used this in uh, multiple other things, so I think you guys can use this as well in however you want to use it. So, thank you so much for watching, hope this helped. Um, if you have any more ideas, we have that survey, go to the other video, I'll put the link in the description, probably not, I'll probably forget, but you never know. Um, but thank you so much for watching, if you have any more critiques, hit me up, hit my comment section, hit my inbox, hit me wherever. Uh, so. Love the series, guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.